Hey everyone, this is Dane Owens, aka Achilles1515, and I am here to um, start a video tutorial series on uh, the 20XX Hack Pack version 4.06. Uh, this tutorial series is going to specifically talk about save states and um, the new replay engine. Um, so these are definitely more uh, advanced features of the hack pack, uh, but <clears throat> um, you know, with that being said, if you are looking towards getting better as a Super Smash Brothers player, uh, specifically using the 20XX hack pack, then um, you're definitely going to want to watch every single one of these videos, however many long um, it will be. Uh, so, <clears throat> so let's get right into it. Um, save states. Um, save states were in 4.05 and in 3.02. Uh, the general principle behind save states in 4.06 is the exact same, uh, but the code itself was totally rewritten um, and just improved dramatically. <clears throat> um, so let's start a match real quick. Um, <clears throat> little tip and trick that if you hold Z while starting a match in the new hack pack you will disable 20xx in-game toggles. So you can see a little pop-up there that, that um, displayed that they were off. So I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't already um, known about this because it was in 4.05, um, on the pause screen, you can press D-pad right to toggle 20XX um, toggles on and off and to toggle develop mode on and off. So, uh, develop mode was in, the, in vanilla Melee, just not accessible. Um, comes with a variety of really useful uh, you know, kind, of, kind of debugging tools that the developers use to um, create the game. And, um, you know, things like collision bubbles, advancing the game frame by frame. So this tutorial series is not going to be a, uh, this is not gonna really touch upon like everything that development mode can do, but I am gonna have it on for the majority of the series, so I'll just mention a few things. So uh, pressing D-pad right, I'm gonna turn 20XX and develop mode on. Um, when develop mode is on, X and D-pad up pauses and unpauses the game. Just like that. So um, another really useful um, develop mode toggle is Y and D-pad down, which displays action state information for every character on the screen and the frame number that the uh, character is in for that um, action state. So, this is also a develop mode feature. If you press start, you, like your start button now is what I call develop mode freeze, um, which you know, the game state is basically frozen. You can press a Z to advance the game frame by frame. You know, notice how it's just incrementing those frame numbers. So the cool thing about this is that you can hold, a, hold an input and press Z to basically buffer that input to appear next game. So with Fox, now I'm jumping because I was holding X before I press Z. So you can um, you can create frame perfect combinations or not frame perfect, however you, know, you can just create whatever sort of string actions you want uh, precisely using this. Um, so the cool thing with save states here is that you can use save states now in this while you're develop mode frozen like this. So I'm going to save a state right now. Um, don't know if you can hear that, but there's a sound effect that plays. But there's a sound effect now that plays when you successfully save a state. Um, <clears throat> you know, so pressing start will um, unpause the develop mode, um, frozen mode. Um, you know, so we can just hit D-pad left to, you know, load that state back up again. Um, now, save states also, you know, you can, you can load when they're on the revival platform now. Um, stale move queue is saved. Stocks are saved. There's a debug menu option to um, save and restore the match timer 
if you wanted. Um, but save states in 4.06 are much, much better than in previous versions. Um, not only, <clears throat> um, well, I guess the majority of the reason why they're so much better is just the overall character state, like, you know, the character structure and all the variables associated with the character on screen. So much more of that is saved in 4.06 than in the previous versions. Um, and all those variables are really what, like, you know, constitutes how a character, um, you know, interacts and, and looks on screen. Um, so that's one of the, the reasons why it's so much better now. So much more of that character structure is saved. I mean, basically the entire thing, rather than just a handful of variables like the older versions. Um, you know, so you can, you know, save a state while you're hanging on the edge, you know, no problem. Um, so, you know, with the old save state code, it was very easy to freeze the game with it. Um, this version is way more stable, um, way more stable, but you can still get yourself into trouble. I mean, if you, like, <clears throat> you know, save the state while you were throwing an item, but before the item was released... Um, you know, then you actually release the item, and then you load back into that state where you're throwing the item, um, you know, and then the game tries to throw an item that wasn't actually, that th then the game tries to throw an item that is no longer, you know, in your hand anymore, you know, that could, like, freeze the game. Um, spe some special moves um, for characters, you know, saving in the middle of a special move and loading back into the middle of a special move. Um, could cause problems, but for the most part, all like you know, all your just kind of common um, action states now are like pretty damn safe. So, um, you know, here's another cool thing. Like, so you know, Roy is dead, but he was alive in my save in my save state earlier. So I'm gonna load a state right now, and like, you know, Roy's just back. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's powerful now. Um, so, this is going to end part one. Um, <clears throat> there's one more uh, kind of topic to mention about save states, and then we'll uh, get into the uh, replay engine.